Hello everybody, welcome back to Knowledge Bits. We are gonna pick up with ghouls. I'm gonna try not to die, which, uh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I just don't know how many times it's gonna happen. No, <laughs> I wanna kill that guy. These guys are annoying. We just gotta get them out the way. It's like a, a big waiting game with this part. If you've died. I, well, I mean, no matter what, it's pretty much a waiting game. There we go. So anyways, today, this session, we're going to talk about uh, meeting new people and why you should. Because the thing is, at the end of the day, uh, life sucks by itself. I mean, I, I know there's many people that I like to be by themselves a lot. I, I grew up with a brother that is kind of to himself a lot. I have um, had friends that they don't like being around people or being... Um, socially intimate I guess as the average person I like to talk to people I'm a big talker I like to meet people I like to I like to have meaningful and interesting conversations and, and that's kind of what brings up my first point okay there we go. Um, I like to meet people and, and learn new things from them. That, that's I think that's my biggest takeaway from meeting new people. I guess it's a little selfish, sure, but at the end of the day, I mean, you gotta live life the way you wanna live it. And for me, if I'm not talking to people and meeting people and experiencing new things or learning about new things... Okay, screw this guy. Oh, <laughs> I beat him. Yes. I think this is the yellow. Yeah. Once you get the green, the next treasure is the yellow. I, I always forget the order, to be honest. But man, I wish I had the bow and arrow right now. It, it would make my life so much easier. Just run. Come on, dude. Come at me. Uh, and yeah, like I was saying, meet new people. Life's too short to be stuck in your own little world. And I'm sure if you're not this person, you at least have this person in your family where uh, there's people that are very stuck in their ways and they, they kind of limit their minds to what they know. And they're like, oh, well, I know what's best. I, I know what's good for me, for you, for uh, family members, you know, kids, whatever. Um, and there's a lot of adults that are very stubborn about shit like that. And that's dangerous because the thing is that, I mean, think about it. There's, there's so many different types of lifestyles in the world. There's so many different... Um, things that go on that we're not aware of and so thinking like that honestly is not helpful no oh I should have just taken the fire well whatever come at me this way nope <laughs> no. oh that was gonna be a good move you saw that you saw that it was gonna be a good move but man this game is impossible I mean it's possible don't get me wrong it's not impossible, it's just stupid is what it is. Come on dude, just come down here so I can kill you. I don't think they disappear, I think you have to kill them. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, uh, yeah, you've met people like that. People that are very stuck in their own ways. Very stuck in their own ideology, their own way of living, way of thinking. Uh, what are, there's some people that literally whatever they are taught that is what they think it's right and uh, that's that's an annoying situation uh, because try reasoning with them it doesn't matter if your reasoning does not match theirs there's no point in talking there, there's no point um, and yeah and it makes it makes life a little bit bland if you don't talk about things outside of what you know that's one thing when I was a kid I, I think people misunderstood me in the sense that, yeah, I remember this, in, in the sense that um, I didn't care if I was right or not, but I always spoke very, uh, what's the word, like, I guess, assuredly, uh, I think that's how <laughs> you properly use that word in this context. Um, I, I always spoke with conviction. I spoke like if I knew what I was talking about, and a lot of people see that as like a threat I guess no oh this is really bad hold on okay is everything okay yeah it's just my laptop is telling me something no worries we're still good to go 
I'm probably gonna die. And there it is. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, but one thing about me was that I was always trying to... Trying to figure things out, I guess is the best way to put it. So I was a big learner growing up. I, I still am. I, I always like learning new things, improving myself. Uh, learning about just whatever I don't know anything about. And... And I think that's that's a huge, a huge deal with people. Um, in order for you to make new friends, in order for you to grow as a person, you need to be open to something other than what you are and what you've become based off of your current life experiences. And what I mean, what I mean by that is, I, I feel like I talked about it in another episode, but you have to get yourself out of your comfort zone, you know? And m making new friends and meeting new people is about that getting out of your comfort zone for example uh, with knowledge bits I have literally no fan base no one knows who I am besides my family members um, I'm starting this from scratch right now I literally have eight subscribers which is kind of cool because I got two today I think um, and the rest of them were pretty much people that I knew right like my nephew my girlfriend and people that I like friend that I told uh, stuff like that is this good? Are we good? Alright, cool. I need that bow and arrow, man. That, that thing would destroy the demon guy. Honestly, I'm just going to keep on doing this until, <laughs> until I can get past it. No! Well, at least I hit him. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> this, this is really bad. Oh, I got two hits. Hold on. I'll talk right now. Just look at this guy dancing. Oh, he's gonna die. Yes! I got him. Alright. What the hell was I talking about? Ooh, treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I honestly, I completely forgot what the hell I was talking about. That guy requires, ooh, I got my armor. That guy requires all of my attention, especially when I don't have the bow and arrow. Dude. Okay, hold on. This is like a double whammy situation. This one's almost dead. Yeah. Dude, get out of here. There we go. There's a treasure here. I go back? I don't remember. Yeah, look at that. Die. There's a treasure up there too. I Did I get it last time? I don't remember. We'll see. But I'm hoping for the bone arrow. If I get the green armor, that'd be cool too. Okay, I need to kill these guys because these are... The most. Oh, never mind. I guess the ghosts are the most annoying. There we go. Yeah, it was this one. Oh, I got my armor back. That was fast. Dude, just die. This is stupid. Yes, I got them. Okay, okay. I'll go back to talking in a bit. I promise. I just need to get past this part. Okay. Dude, just die. Okay, cool. It's automatic death because of this. I don't think I have enough time, to be honest. I don't have the power-ups. This guy's a little tough. Nope. Oh, I jumped into it. Okay, I can do this. Nope. I'm getting scared because if I get hit, I have to do all this nonsense all over again. And that red demon guy is really annoying. <sighs> Hold on. I promise I'll get back. Oh, <laughs> I beat him. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. No! Oh, that was really good. <laughs> Come on, you gotta give it to me. That was pretty damn. Uh, 
Yeah, I know, it says game over, but come on, I did my best. This game's ridiculous. You gotta admit, this game is stupid. Uh, Alright, so... I'm just gonna talk, okay? I, I, I'm not gonna remember where I left off. I think I'm gonna have to accept that in this game, because... Screw this. Secret- Oh, no! Because in Mega Man, Mega Man X, the reason I played it in the first place was because I could play that game... I could play that game while I'm paying attention in class. That's literally what I did. Oh, this is gonna take forever. And this game, uh, it requires almost my full attention. Well, it pretty much does require my full attention. I just wasn't giving it. Can you please die? But yes, guys, make new friends. Bottom line. I'm gonna keep talking about it. Broaden your horizons, learn new things, experience new things, um, expose yourself to something else. Be bigger than what you are. It's kind of the whole idea with this. Uh, <laughs> that was good. At least this guy's easy. Dude, I need a better weapon. Oh, I know what I can do. No. Oh. Yes, give me that. Give me that. Oh, dodge it. No. <laughs> so I don't know if you caught that, but I can charge. I'm going to die. I already accepted my fate in this one. I'm going to die. I'm just going to go. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I, I was pretty much dead already there. That that golden armor is like my only hope. If I can get that, I can charge my move, be invincible for a bit, and then hope for the best. Oh yes. This is the key right here. This is how you beat the game. Look at that. I don't even have to try. Die. But yeah, it, it's important, guys. It's important to... It's important to learn things. Because think about it this way. You're born knowing nothing, uh, barely being able to function as a human being, and you're just kind of there and people have to take care of you, right? As you get older, you start learning from your parents, from your family members, whoever's around you, and, and you start to develop certain little things. Now, there's a the thing. Nature versus nurture, all that. I'm like, look, at the end of the day, everyone... I believe that everyone has a personality from the start, and they they add to it with other people. Perfect. Look at that. That was fast. And other experiences and people add to it. it. It's not like you change who you are. You're just adding stuff on top of who you are. So, for example, I'm born. I'm a little kid. I just like to... My natural way of being when I was a kid, I think, was exploring a lot. I broke my arm when I was like... Oh! oh I thought I got hit. But I didn't. I, I, I liked exploring a lot when I was a kid. And so what I what I would do is climb a lot of stuff, uh, look around a bunch of nooks and crannies, and I broke my arm when I was like, I think I was like two, because my sisters were already born. I, I, I want to say I was about two years old, and I broke my arm because I jumped off the table, apparently. I mean, I don't remember this. I heard it from my uh, parents, from my mom, my dad. They told me. And that's that's who I was, right? I was born, and I start doing stuff, and I start getting myself into. Oh! Is it dead? Please be dead. Well, oh yeah, hell no. I am not changing my weapon because this way I can aim from anywhere against this punk. 
Just go. Just go. Get away from these ghosts. Just fall. Just go. <laughs> and I have two and a half minutes. It's good. I can just stay here. Oh! Okay. I do have to be a little careful. Dude, get out of here. Oh! <laughs> oh, by the way, I think we're past time. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.